Okay, so there was some uh, small problem with the last part of the previous question. So I was, by the question additional field current, I was wondering, you know, we should know what is the actual field current. But then when I just think about it once again, additional field current means how much extra field current is needed. So if the earlier field current was X, so X plus some delta X current is needed. Here what is asked in the question is only that. So let's just see that already the field winding is having 1100 turns. So how much, what is the ampere turns causing demagnetization? That is 440 ampere turns. So if I multiply, divide this by 1100, so I don't want to add any extra turns, I just want to add, send some extra current to compensate these ampere turns. So if I do this, I get 0 0.4 amperes. So therefore, if I send an additional 0 0.4 current into the shunt field winding, that will take care of the demagnetization effect. So that is what is the asked in the question. Now I hope you understand this. If you are directly looking at this video, then you need to see the other video. This is a continuation of the previous video where uh, the A and B parts of the question were solved and now we are solving the C part. So, uh, and if the earlier, just to give an example, if the earlier field current was 5 amperes, now you increase the field current to 5.4 amperes, this is another way by strengthening your field, you are able to uh, address the effect of demagnetization effect. So you can ask what about the cross magnetization effect, 6160 ampere turns is causing cross magnetization, that as we discussed, we should use the compensating winding for that, but then in this question it is not asked, so we will not worry about it. So I think uh, in this question we discussed this, so I think we will see more questions.